Okay, so in this tutorial, what I want to do is have a look at how we can further refine this mat from this point within Photoshop. So, as we've already spoke about, what we can do is use things like um, uh, adjustment layers to kind of color correct some of these elements. So, if I just give you an example of that, here's the road, okay, and we've got the road element and we've already created a mask for it. So, if I create an adjustment layer, so I'm just going to go layer, uh, new adjustment layer, um, uh, let's just get this right. New adjustment layer curves, which is uh, the the grading I I usually like to use. Okay, click OK, um, and you can see I've got an adjustment layer here. And obviously, uh, if I adjust this, you can see it's actually affecting all the layers that are below it. Okay, uh, rather than just this road here. Okay, so now what I want to do is take this mask here. So this is the mask for the road, and all I'm going to do is go Alt Drag onto this element here and click yes to replace the mask layer that's already there and you'll see that now if I go and do this adjustment so if I click on this little icon here that allows me to access the adjustment if I go and do an adjustment now you'll see it only affects just where that mask is so that allows us then to just you know color match our specific elements together I'm just going to kind of just pull this together to kind of make this fit let's have a look something like that okay and obviously what I'm trying to do is not really a creative grade here this is just a technical grade uh, to put the whole thing together there's no reason why I couldn't use this same method to do a creative grade at the top now the reason we want to use um, adjustment layers so uh, uh, create adjustment layers here using this method as opposed to just going image adjustments which we could do to do the same thing uh, is that this is a non-destructive technique so by using an adjustive le adjustment layer what it's doing is it's not actually uh, burning that adjustment into the image so it allows us to do corrections later on as well okay um, I might do a similar thing for this sort of uh, yeah I might do a similar thing for this pavement element here as well let's have a look here we've got the pavement element yeah let's just add another uh, adjustment layer in there uh, again uh, I'm going to use curves click OK I'm going to go alt drag this mask across click OK and then I can make some adjustments to this curve here just to help it kind of better match this building okay again I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time on this but just enough to kind of bring it in kind of make it match this building okay now another thing that I want to do is this edge here of this building um, so if I just zoom in here the edge here of this building is really quite harsh okay so I really need these to kind of blend in a bit better so obviously where we've used masking to do this that the edges are, are quite harsh okay um, so what I want to do is soften up the, uh, the uh, so this is the mask for the bridge here I want to soften up the uh, sorry the building I want to soften up the edge of this mask to kind of make it blend into this pavement a little bit better. So I'm going to select the mask, and then what I'm going to do is just grab the uh, blur tool. Let's have a look. Here we go. And I'm just going to blur this edge here. Okay. Uh, now we can see the amount of blur here. This is the strength here that we've got, and you can see it's just softening that edge a little bit. That's all it's doing. Okay. Let's keep going with that. You can see we're just softening that edge. All right, okay. So it just softens that edge up for us. There we go. So it softens that edge up for us quite nicely. Um, another thing I might want to do as well is often you'd expect to see a bit of shadow here, uh, and an easy kind of way of adding some shadow is uh, to go into. If I click on the uh, so rather than the mask now, I'm going to go onto the actual um, photograph of the building itself now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this burn tool here. So you've got burn, which makes it makes a picture darker, and dodge, which makes a picture lighter. So I can use this burn tool. I can again adjust uh, where the burn is affecting it, the amount of burn. So you know, is it affecting the the shadows, highlights, or midtones? The amount of burn that I'm putting on there, and obviously the size of the brush as well. So I can adjust all of those things as as I need to. Okay. In this case, I think I'm quite happy with what I've got. So I'm just going to put a sort of subtle kind of darkening on here okay and then what I'm going to do is just do the same thing but with the pavement as well so uh, where was this pavement asset I think it was this one here so I'm going to click on the pavement asset 
do a similar thing here. Ooh. Just get rid of that burn there. There we go. Okay, again, I'm not, you know, this isn't, you know, I, I could spend more time doing this, uh, but this just allows us to put a bit of shadow on there, uh, or like a soft shadow, if you will. If you will. Okay, and I could probably do a better job than I have here. This helps kind of integrate those elements. Again, you could do a similar thing with all these sort of elements, you know, put a bit more of a shadow on this here, perhaps put a bit more shadow on the, you know, on the on the road there as well. Okay. Um, and and also another thing you could do is sort of take other elements like bits of grime and things. So you could take bits of grime from another photograph and then just composite them onto on top of this as well. Uh, and quite often a good method of doing that is just to use the uh, overlay blend uh, mode to, in order to do that. What I'm going to do as a kind of uh, uh, which is kind of a sort of similar technique. I'm going to go into let's have a look. I'll go into my image. What I want to do is grab some of the grass from this point here. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit further. Okay, I'm going to grab some grass from this point here and then just use it just to kind of as a little bit of growth uh, at the edge of this building just to kind of help merge it together a little bit as well. Um, uh, so again, just another technique that we can use is comp extra bits to kind of help these elements blend together. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, another approach as well is things like you know moss and dirt and things like that, like I've just mentioned. You can comp composite those into as well as well. Okay, um, right. I'm just going to go and grab this grass here. find the start of it there we are so I want to grab that element there I think I've got the right layer yes I have so I'm going to go control C and then go control V okay so have a look what we've got here's our new element obviously I want it to go over the building so I just need to kind of shift this up so it's over the top of the building as well now and then what I could do is just put this on this edge here so if I could just move hang on Sorry, pressing the wrong button. I just wanted to move my scene here. Here we go. Right, okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to use the uh, transform tool here. I'll just use a free transform, keep it simple. Um, let's have a look. I can just pull. Rotate that down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to put that element in there, and then obviously to make that element work, I'm just going to use the burn tool again, just to kind of burn this element in here, make it sort of darker to kind of fit uh, 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 the sort of edge of this as well, okay? And then now, we zoom in out of that. So you can see it's just sort of helped bring those elements together. Again, I could refine that a little bit further. Might even just darken it a little bit more. It may be, and it's just helping bring those two elements together, just that little bit of a, a grass there as well. Okay, now um, I've sort of you can keep working away on this. Okay, and again, one of the elements I really like that have worked well together is this wall because you've got this sort of grime at the bottom of the wall, it's really naturally made it fit together with this pavement, even though you know they weren't together originally. You know, we've put those together in this image, so that's worked really well. Okay, uh, right, so. This is kind of like a finished version of uh, the projection that I've done here. Okay, and then I'm just going to go and show you now what this looks like on Maya. So just give me a moment to start up Maya. Okay, so this is now the new map that's been brought into Maya. And you can see, I mean, obviously there's still bits to tidy up, but you can see that this is starting to, to come together now uh, to create a really nice environment map that we can use for our shot. Okay, uh, in the next tutorial, what we're going to do is look at exporting this uh, from Maya into Nuke uh, to allow so to, to allow you to work with it in Nuke and composite it in Nuke. Okay.